This video will show you how to remove and replace the motor with gearbox assembly on your compact table saw. Before we begin, make sure the start stop button is in the off position. Turn off the power switch. Unplug the saw. For an extra measure of safety, lock out the power switch. If you have the optional stand for the compact table saw, remove the saw from the stand and perform this maintenance on a suitable workbench. Removing the motor. Remove the blade guard and the saw blade. You'll find written instructions for this in your compact table saw owner's manual. Turn the elevation wheel clockwise to fully raise the blade position. Remove the table insert. Remove the blade guard by pivoting the handle up to open the clamp for the blade guard. Lift the blade guard assembly straight up and set it aside. Using the blade wrenches supplied with the saw, remove the blade and set it aside. The replacement motor with gearbox assembly does not include an arbor nut or washers, so take a moment now and place the original arbor nut and washers onto the arbor of the replacement motor. Removing the motor cover. At the front of the saw, adjust the bevel adjustment to 45 degrees. At the rear of the saw, unlatch and remove the accessory storage compartment and set it aside. The fasteners that partly secure the motor cover are now visible. Using a number two Phillips head screwdriver, remove these three screws. From the opposite side of the saw, remove the two screws on the right using a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Use the handle at the left of the saw to tip the saw up on its side. The motor cover is now free and can be removed. Slide the motor cover down and remove it through the bottom of the frame. Set the motor cover and screws aside for later reinstallation. Removing the trunnion motor cover. At the front of the saw, adjust the bevel adjustment to 45 degrees. With the saw tipped onto its side, remove these three screws. You'll need a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Lift away this cover and set it aside along with the three screws for later reinstallation. Removing the dust shroud. At the front of the saw, adjust the bevel adjustment back to zero degrees. Remove the three screws and washers along the top of the dust shroud assembly. For this step, you'll need a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Remove these five screws located around the perimeter of the square tube interior frame of your compact table saw. The dust shroud assembly is now free and can be removed. Once removed, set it aside along with all its related fasteners for later reinstallation. Removing the brake cartridge bracket. Remove the brake cartridge and set it aside. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, remove these four bolts and lock washers that secure the brake cartridge bracket assembly to the saw. To lift the brake cartridge bracket assembly away, a small amount of prying force with a flat blade screwdriver or similar pry tool may be needed to separate the bracket from the saw. Next, remove these two fasteners that hold the DB9 brake cartridge connector onto the bracket. You'll need a number two Phillips head screwdriver and a 7 mm wrench. Once the nut is free from the shaft, be prepared to catch the flat washer and spacer that will fall away. The brake cartridge bracket is now free and can be removed. Set it aside along with all related fasteners for later reinstallation. Removing the motor. Using a number two Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screws for these plastic straps. This will free the ribbon and power cables that are hardwired to the motor. Set the screws and plastic straps aside as you will need them for later reassembly. Unplug both the ribbon and power cable from their sockets on the switch box. Next, we'll remove the retraction bracket from the motor housing. Confirm that the blade adjustment is raised to its highest position using the elevation adjustment at the front of your compact table saw. Insert a screwdriver as shown for use as a lever. There is a nut to the left a few inches into the saw. Rest the tip of the screwdriver there. Closer to you, press the shaft of the screwdriver here beneath the black hook-shaped hardware and pry upwards. 
The purpose of this step is to free the black hook-shaped hardware from the silver metal pin that it straddles. Once the hook has cleared the pin, be prepared for the motor to fall. Next, using a 4mm Allen wrench, remove these four bolts. Using a 5mm Allen wrench, remove the last bolt that secures the retraction bracket to the carriage block. Set the retraction bracket aside along with all related fasteners for later reinstallation. Installing the new motor. Remove all packaging from the replacement motor. Attaching the retraction bracket. Using a 4mm Allen wrench, attach the retraction bracket to the motor housing using the four matching 16mm bolts. Next, align the remaining hole in the retraction bracket with this threaded hole in the carriage block and install the last shorter bolt using a 5mm Allen wrench. Take care to straddle the slot in the alignment block over this guide fin. Rotate the elevation adjustment of your compact table saw to drop the blade adjustment to its lowest position. Toward the bottom of the range of travel, you'll feel some resistance, but continue to lower the assembly until the black hook-shaped hardware on the retraction block re-engages with the silver metal pin. The retraction bracket installation is now complete. Locate the power cable and ribbon cable connected to the motor and plug them into their respective sockets on the switch box. Reinstall the plastic straps that dress the path of the ribbon cable and the plastic guide for the power cable. For this step, you'll need a number two Phillips head screwdriver. Installing the brake cartridge bracket. Locate the ribbon cable extending from the motor with the DB9 brake cartridge connector on the end of the cable. Align the connector with the oval hole in the brake cartridge bracket, then insert the two flathead Phillips screws in the small holes to either side of the connector. From the underside, add the spacer, then the washer, followed by the nut to the shaft of the flathead Phillips head screw, then tighten. For the nut on the bottom side, you'll need a 7mm wrench. Align the guide pins on the underside of the brake cartridge bracket with these holes in the motor housing. Keep the plate level as you apply pressure to seat the bracket flush with the motor housing. Using a 6mm Allen wrench, secure the bracket using the four 16mm button head bolts and lock washers. Reinstall the brake cartridge. The brake cartridge bracket installation is now complete. Installing the dust shroud. Begin by aligning the upper holes of the dust shroud with the mounting holes in the saw. Using the three pan head 8mm bolts with flat washer, use a number two Phillips head screwdriver to attach the dust shroud. On the other side of the saw, locate the series of five holes located around the perimeter of the square tube inner frame of your compact table saw. For each hole, there is a 45mm pan head Phillips screw. Insert and tighten each of the screws using a number two Phillips head screwdriver. The dust shroud installation is now complete. Installing the trunnion motor cover. Align the trunnion motor cover with the square tube inner frame of the saw and set the cover in place. Use the three thread cutting button head Phillips screws to secure the cover. The trunnion motor cover installation is now complete. Installing the motor cover. At the front of the saw, adjust the bevel adjustment to 45 degrees. Slide the motor cover in from the bottom of the saw through the frame. Align the holes in the motor cover with the holes in the frame of the saw located just to the right of the legend for the status lights. Secure the motor cover with two 16mm button head Phillips screws. At the opposite side of the saw, secure the other side of the motor cover with three additional Phillips screws of the same type. The motor cover installation is now complete. And finally, reinstall the accessory storage compartment 
the blade and blade guard. That's it. You've learned how to perform the replacement of the motor and gearbox assembly on your saw stop compact table saw. If you have questions, contact saw stop service.